That was Craig David with Unbelievable. Still to come, the Kooks and the Automatic. But right now we're in the VIP bar, so it must be time to talk to a VIP. Luckily, I've got one right here. It's Brian Mulco from Placebo. Uh, now, you must be quite familiar with this venue because you shot a video here quite recently. Didn't you? Yeah, we shot a video here about a month, a month and a half ago. Yeah. Um, it was great. It was great. We invited a whole bunch of fans down. Too many showed up, not everybody could get in, but you know, for those who did and for us it was a really good day, yeah. yeah. I have to admit that my sister was one of the lucky ones to get through those doors. Yeah. There was no nepotism involved. We no, absolutely, yeah. I can say that for legal reasons. Yeah. Yeah. You're an incredibly busy band. Do you have time to catch any gigs yourself? When I'm in London, yeah. I mean, when you're on tour, you find out when the really, really big bands are playing, but more like the, band, the smaller bands that you would normally go to, it's a bit more difficult to find out because people just don't tell you. But when I'm at home, yeah, as much as possible. I'll call you next time. Yeah. Okay, I'll, call yeah. I'll let you know. Drop me a line, yeah. Have you seen anyone good recently? Uh, I just got back from Bangkok and saw, did a festival out there, saw Massimo Park, saw a Belgian band called Deus, Ian Brown, and Franz, of course. Yeah, yeah who I'll I all enjoy. And just out of interest, what was the last album you bought? I'm kind of going through like a folk phase at the moment. So I'm really into Devendra Banhart and uh, Isabel Campbell and Mark Lanigan, that, that album that they go from Bell and Sebastian and Mark Lanigan from Screaming Trees. It's done this kind of country folk record, which I'm really into. Have you uh, have just completed your fifth studio album? Yeah. It's an amazing achievement. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, it's kind of a return to guitars. The, the, the previous album was very electronic and very much about sort of vintage synthesizers and computers and samplers and constructing music artificially, I suppose. And we were interested in that at that point. This time we were just kind of interested in plugging in our amps and going into a room and hitting things and sometimes throwing things at each other and sometimes hitting each other. And that's it's kind of the sound of, of a band doing that, of three guys getting sweaty throwing things at each other. And sometimes uh, Bob. Yeah, you're talking about Michael Stipe. Yeah, we do. There's two duets on this album. Uh, one of them is with Michael Stipe from R.E.M. who's on a song called Broken Promise. And the other one is with Vivi from The Kills. Yeah. What was it like duetting with someone like Michael? It was really cool because I've listened to Michael's music since I was knee high to a grasshopper, you know, and his his voice had a real influence on the development of my voice as a singer, you know, even though our voices are quite different. So to be able to work with somebody who's a real, real part of you growing up was really fantastic. And know? was he, did he do it by phone or was he right next to you? Uh, he was right there, yeah. It was two days after they did a gig in Hyde Park, so he came down after the last show of the REM tour and uh, just hung out for a day and, and we did our thing. Yeah, it was very generous of us. Tell us about the couple of tracks you'll be playing for us tonight. Okay, we're going to be playing Because I Want You, which is the single in the UK, and a song called Follow the Cops Back Home, which is inspired by a visit to Iceland. And the sort of, you know, the vistas of Iceland and the geysers and the salt pools and everything, you know. And the fact that there's no crime there. That, that sounds like a very inspiring place. It's really, really cool, especially during 24 hour sun, which is when we were there. Your body clock doesn't really know what's going on. You know, I haven't been there during a 24 hour darkness, but maybe the next time. Yeah. Well, thank you very much uh, for taking the time out and joining me at the bar. Thank you. But right Thanks now, for it's, me. it's time for a band that's got a very energetic approach to their stage craft. I think you'll enjoy this. Uh, a bit of stage diving involved, probably. This is the automatic. That was Craig David, and his album has been in the charts for an incredible 30 weeks. But right now, a superb band have got a brand new album out. This is called Follow the Cops Back Home. This is Placebo. <laughs>
live tonight but please join us again next time with more exclusive live performances and interviews but to play us out with another track from their fifth album this is placebo and this is because i want you Far into you, it's all I seem to do when I hit the bottle, cause I'm afraid.